When you, uh, when you get done saying hi to everybody, can you get a quick interview with me? Yes, yes, okay, cool. for sure. For sure. Yeah, Alicia would be great. And Boyana was all for you too, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. see the phone I'm going to stream your interview slide on Facebook. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. I coach, great job. Good to see you. Okay, coach. First off, how does it feel to be home and to see everybody here? Uh, you know, this, this is awesome. The support that, that, that we're getting here in, in the valley and, and the girls saw it right away. I mean, everybody's home last night. It was going crazy and everything, but, you know, to still walk through the door on Sunday and to see people come out here and support us and, and support what this program is growing into is a lot of fun. Tell me about the run you guys made in the tournament. Three straight wins. 
you were the underdog in every single one. What was clicking for you guys? Uh, you know, we've talked about playing with emotion and passion and, and playing for each other all year long. And, and it's something that takes time to work towards that. And uh, for whatever reason, that just fell in place this weekend. And, and you know, against UMKC, they basically played perfect. I mean, uh, you, you take the blocks out of the equation, and I think we hit three balls out of bounds and had two service errors in, in a three and a half hour long match. Uh, that's about as close as you can get to perfect volleyball. And, and from there, it just grew. You know, they came with even more confidence and more energy against New Mexico State. And then uh, after, after knocking them off in their gym, uh, I, I don't think there was any doubt uh, when, when we matched up against Utah Valley. A lot of us got to see it on the live stream yesterday, but take me back to the moment, the last point, everything was over and you guys clinched it. What did that feel like? Uh, you know, just huge, huge for, for this program, huge for our staff. And uh, the, the biggest thing is huge for this group of girls, you know, uh, through ups and downs this year. Um, some of them playing beat up, uh, doing things that they hadn't done all year long. You know, Barbara moving from a position she hadn't played all year long. Kids coming off the bench that, that didn't play all year long but worked hard and practice every day and then having a chance to contribute at the end. Um, that, that's just huge. And, and everybody really accepting their role within the group and, and making the group better and making the team better. And, and to see the look on their faces when they accomplish something bigger than themselves and, uh, just makes you proud as a coach. Is this going to be your first ever trip to the NCAA tournament as a coach? Yes, yes. Uh, you know, this is our, my, only my second year uh, in the NCAA. Yeah. So. I wasn't sure if you had coached in any other NCAA schools before this. Uh, now you've obviously gone as far as you can go with UTB. Now you get a chance to take the big stage in the NCAA tournament. How excited are you as a coach to get to lead this team into uncharted territory for everybody involved? Uh, you know, it's going to be fun, you know, wherever we get sent, um, you know, uh, we're probably looking at a, at a top seed, so we're going to have a tall order to fill, but but that's good for us, and that's good for this program at this state. You know, we're, we're still a relatively young program, you know, this is our second year here, so it's going to be good for us to be on the stage with uh, some of those big teams, and and helps us with recruiting and helps us with building the program and, and just continue to create excitement about uh, what this group of girls is doing here and what UTRGV is doing in athletics. Yeah. Coach, congratulations, sir. Thank you. Good Thank work, you. buddy. Awesome. Hey. <laughs> on the cover. What's your practice like this week? Uh, we go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we'll be completely off on, on Monday. We'll go Tuesday, Wednesday. We're going to give them Thursday, Friday off and then we'll practice Saturday, Sunday. I can send you times. Perfect. Um, but as of right now, first time we'll be back in the gym is 3 o'clock on, on Tuesday. Okay, you'll be in tomorrow, though? Yeah, I'll be in. Okay. I'm going to write a story every day leading okay. up to the tournament, so I'm going to need a lot of quotes from you. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll be in tomorrow. <laughs> Probably you. afternoon. Again, but... That works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, right. we drove down in the middle of the night last night because they had a 6.30 flight out of El Paso. So we were originally had rooms blocked in El Paso, but we changed our mind. So the girls stayed, and I came down. We got to the hotel at 1.30, and then they got up at 4. You can see he's crashed out. <laughs> yeah, That's your little one? Yeah. Awesome. And then, uh, so I, I only slept about two and a half hours. That's all you know. Well, probably every night I slept about two. Yeah. It was about 2.30 or 3 before I went to bed every night. Feel it. So, I mean, it's hard to wind down. Like, I hear you. After the UMKC match, I... I didn't, I didn't. I couldn't eat. Didn't sleep until like wow. three. It was like three thirty, and I'm like, I'm hungry. I'm like at the front desk of the hotel eating mini pizzas at three o'clock in the morning. I got to bed at three after that match. Five after the second match. Yeah. I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. So, but thank you. Very cool. Congrats so, again, coach. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. A lot of fun. So happy for you. Let's go find you some players. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they still have a voice. <laughs> nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you guys. Have a good one, okay? Thank you. Oh, just, just that and this one. Go get in the picture. Yeah. I still can't do it. Yeah. Right. What should I do? UT and then y'all do the rest? Yeah, that would be fun. UT! 
Boyana, with what voice you have left? Is my son your brain? Yes, sir. Sure. Alicia, you too, real quick. With what voice you have left? Sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be tired. What, uh, what, uh, how did you guys get the bed last night? How did you guys, like, wind down before the, you guys had an early fight, didn't you? Yes, but to be honest, I didn't sleep till four. I, I had to rewatch the game. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. and I was just way too excited to, yeah to sleep. Very no. cool. Well, a couple quick questions for you. Yes, sure. Try not to waste the rest of your voice. Okay, so first of all, how does it feel, you know, not even 24 hours later yet, uh, but what, what did last night mean for this school and for this program? Well, it's just one word, like, we made history. We literally made history for the whole region, for our school, and for ourselves. I think I, it's amazing feeling that I literally cannot describe with words. We fought to the last point, and I'm I can I'm 100% sure that no one saw us in final game except ourselves. We never doubted. Since the first day we came, first day we stepped on the court, we showed everybody that we wanted more than anyone, and we were confident with every single movement we made. And I think that that's that's the formula we used to to win this championship and made everybody proud and made ourselves proud and all our staff, our school and just the whole Rio Grande Valley for sure. For sure and now you guys get to take on the NCAA tournament. This is uncharted territory for everybody. No, no one in the coaching staff has been there. No one, none of the players have been there. Well actually I'm not sure if any of the players from the other schools have but no. I mean to, uh, to be going now to the NCAA tournament. Is that sinking in for you guys now that you guys are going to be in that big tournament now? I think we're still not aware of how big success we made and we're truly excited to have a chance to, to go to NCAA tournament. I think it's a big deal for each one of us, for us to develop more as players, but also for our staff to develop more as coaches. And it's a big deal for our school to, to make an appearance in such a big, big tournament like NCAA tournament is. I'm more than proud of this team and everything we accomplished this year. Awesome. What can you say about the coaching staff? I mean, what a job Coach Lowry and his entire staff have done in just two years getting you guys to this point. What, what can you say about the staff? Um, I've been with Coach Todd for three years already, and he's definitely my family. We need I, no comments for him. Like I see him as my brother. Uh, Erica has been here with us barely two weeks, three weeks. I don't even know how much, and she's just perfect fit for our team. We're just one big family, you know, and. That's why we work the way we work, and that's why we made success with it. I think they they great they work great together. I think they're very passionate, and all the energy we have, they control it also. You know, like they give us they give us feedbacks. They help us uh, make small adjustments during games that are that are helping us win those tough sets on defense and just in general win win games. I'm, I'm very blessed to have them as my coaches, and I'm looking forward for next year. We're going to be scary. And you still got I mean, more games to come, too. Yes, for definitely. Sure. I'm very excited for NCAA tournament with this energy that we have and with this big, big success that we made. It just gave us more confidence and more belief in ourselves and in our staff and everything that's around us to go with strength and energy and maybe win some more games. You never know. There you go. Hey, well, good luck. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Good, good to see you. Thank you. you. Awesome. Okay, history's going on again. Right. The future Dr. Watson. Hi there. Congratulations. Hi, good you. to see you again. How you feeling? Good. <laughs> excited and tired. Everyone's voice is hard as everyone's yeah. tired of that. Alright. Um, I'm going to turn you around this way. Let's get you right here. Right, right here. Yeah, I'll get that behind you. Okay, cool. Okay, here with the WAP. Tournament MVP. What is that? How does that feel to hear WAC Tournament MVP, WAC champion? And it hasn't even been 24 hours yet. Um, it feels amazing. You know, we, we've wanted this for so long and we've worked for it for so long and I think that just finally hearing those words, it just validates all the blood, sweat, tears and, you know, all the heart that we put into every single play this weekend. I watched the interview after the win last night and I heard you say, we just felt like nobody could beat us. What was clicking for you guys in this entire tournament? You guys were just on a 
dominant run throughout the entire tournament. I mean, we just kind of focused on ourselves and fighting for the person next to us, and I think that was the difference. I think we were the closest team out there, and we, you know, we we just we wanted it for every single person that was on our team, and I think that was just that's just what makes that's just what makes us, you know. And I think that was the biggest difference. Like we were willing to do anything, and I don't think it mattered who was on the other side. We were just going to run over whoever it was. So. Right, right. What did it feel like walking through this tunnel to see the crowd here? Did that make it sink in a little bit more, what, what you guys have accomplished? Yeah, I think when we're away, we don't really realize what we did to the fullest. I think we're getting all these notifications, and you know, that's that's kind of it. But I think whenever we come here and we see all these girls and people who look up to us, and people who have supported us and loved us from the beginning, I think it just kind of, it just sinks in like, wow, like how much we've impacted this city, and we fought for this city, and that's just, it's amazing to come home and see that support. As a senior, what does it mean to you to be able to go and play in the NCAA tournament now? That you can't get any bigger than that. It, I mean, just like you said, you can't do any better than that. I think this was this was the goal, and this is something. It's just kind of what you want to do in the end. So I'm just really excited that I get this opportunity for my last year. There you go. Congratulations. You. Best of luck in the NCAA tournament. And of Thanks course, you had the kill that ended it. Yeah. I know. How sweet was that? Oh that was my so gosh. Awesome. Oh my gosh! Yeah, we were all watching. Really? Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! We were live streaming. It didn't even seem real. Like you just you swing it. I'm like, did they get it? Did they get? Oh, yeah, it was yeah. one of those where it went off their hand, right? Yeah, so and then it went out. It's like, wait, what? Yeah, you have to make yeah. sure that like they called it and everything. So I kind of had to wait a few seconds, and then I just, I mean, awesome. Keep it up. <laughs> Keep it going. So in the NCA, so that's cool. awesome. <laughs> Very cool. All right, get some rest today. Appreciate you coming out, Brandon, folks, so you can watch those interviews again tonight on Channel 5 News. <laughs> oh, we're what still time? Live. I don't know we're still live. Yeah, we're still live. What, 5.30? Uh, 5.30 on Channel 5, and then 10 o'clock. Channel 5 News this weekend. We'll have it all right there. All right. Well, I want to appreciate uh, Thank everybody for tuning in, and you'll be able to watch this. It'll be on archive, and make sure you check out GoUTRHD.com over the next two weeks for all the coverage of the NCAA tournament run.